So hey guys, in this video I'm going to introduce to you two new words. They are voltage and current. A lot of people have misunderstandings about what these words mean. So to help me explain it clearly, I've invited my friend Sam along. So Sam Needham here, he is an excited particle at Questacon, a science performer, and he also graduated with honours in physics here at the ANU, so he knows what he's talking about. So, Sam, tell us about current and voltage. Well look, when I've actually brought something along to help with this explanation today, I have here a bucket of coulombs. Now I believe you guys have met coulombs before, they are the standard electric charge unit, and it turns out coulombs are pink and fluffy. So who knew? You learn something new every day, right? Now I'm going to sit over here with my bucket of fluffy coulombs, being like a big battery or a power station or something like that. Paul Lachlan over there has no electricity. So I'm going to share some of these coulombs with Lachlan. I'm going to give them to him so that he can use electricity and maybe turn on the television or record more of these videos for you guys. Now to do that, I'm going to throw them over towards him. But there are a bunch of different ways I can actually throw these coulombs to Lachlan. So the first thing I'm going to do is just try throwing them harder and softer. Now how hard I actually throw these coulombs is described by something called the voltage. Now voltage is measured in units of volts, and one volt is one joule per coulomb. Okay, so when I throw this nice and soft like this, this might be one volt. Oh. Did, did that make it to you, Lachlan? No, no, so that was one joule per coulomb. So each coulomb that I threw, well, the one coulomb that I threw, only had one joule of energy. Now, in a real electric circuit, the charges aren't really moving faster or slower like these balls are when I throw them through the air, but they are moving with more or less energy. So this is two volts. Oh, hey. It made it to you, but I can throw them even harder. This is like five volts. Duh. Oh, hang on, it just went over here. Oh, there we go, that's five volts. <laughs> and hit Lachlan right in the face. Could you feel that? Was it carrying more energy, Lachlan? There was definitely more energy. There was energy. definitely more energy. Okay, now there's another thing I could change as well. You see, if Lachlan is sitting over there, and I throw him one coulomb, and then keep all the rest for myself, that's not very useful for poor old Lachlan. So now what I'm going to try doing is throwing him a constant stream of coulombs. And that is called an electric current. Now, current has units of amps, which is one coulomb per second. So here we are, I'm gonna throw one coulomb per second. One, uh, one, oh no, that was two, that was two. All right, here's one, 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 one. Now I can increase that, I can throw two per second, like this. Two, uh, two, uh, two, uh, two. And if I had the hand-eye coordination, I could throw three per second, but I don't. So we're not gonna, we're just gonna leave that up to your imagination. Now there's actually a third word that we can introduce now too. You see, when you combine voltage and amperage, when you throw one coulomb per second with one volt worth of push, you actually get something called a watt. Now one watt is a, a measure of power, it's one joule, per second, and so you actually multiply the volts by the amps and you get the number of watts. So I can make one watt by throwing one amp with one volt, like this. So this is one per second and it's really not thrown very far. Now I can double the wattage by either doubling the voltage like this, eh, huh? eh, eh. or just doubling the amperage like this. Or I can increase both and make like 50 watts and electrocute Lachlan! Uh. <laughs> so I hope that made things a little bit clearer for you guys. I hope I gave you a picture of what's actually going on inside an electric circuit. Now in a real circuit, you might not have a little person called Sam throwing pink fluffy balls at someone called Lachlan. What you might actually have is something like the battery or another power supply like that. But I had lots of fun throwing pink fluffy things at Lachlan today. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank, thank you, you Sam, for introducing us to current and voltage. You're very... Oh. <laughs> That's alternating current when we go back and forth like that.